Exercise 1. Inquiry. Listen to the following conversations and fill in the missing information in the spaces below. 1. Can I help you? Yes. Could you give me Hilton Hotel's telephone number, please? 745-5757. Thanks. 2. Can I help you? Yes. Could you tell me British Rail's telephone number, please? 723-9861. Thank you very much. 3. Is that 8230-3541? Yes. Can I help you? I'd like to speak to Miss Green, please. 4. Is that 6231-7799? Yes. Who do you want to speak to? Dr. Peter White, please. 5. Is that 6401-6589? Yes. Who do you wish to speak to? Sally Smith, please. Exercise 3. Telephone message. Listen to the conversation and fill in the missing information in the right place. Good morning, British Council. Hello. May I speak to Ms. Proctor? I'm sorry. She is not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. Thank you. Please tell her the meeting is on Tuesday at 9.30 in room 214. Tuesday at 9.30 in room 214. And would you ask her to call me this afternoon to confirm this? My number is 541-3099. 541-3099. Yes, Mr. Kale, I will give Ms. Proctor the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Exercise 2. Accommodation. Listen to some conversations and fill in the missing information in the form. Conversation 1. Have you got a single room for two nights, please? Yes, room 309 on the third floor. How much is it? £14.50, including breakfast. Conversation 2. Can I book a double room for the weekend, please? Yes. We have a room vacant on the first floor, number 135. How much does it cost? £25, including English breakfast. Conversation 3. Have you got a triple room for one week, please? Yes, room 205. It's on the second floor. How much is it? £30 a night, including a private bath. Exercise 3. When does school start? Listen to the tape and tick the correct answer. 1. When does your mother arrive? Tuesday, 14th of May. 2. When are you going on holidays? The 25th of March. 3. When do the exams begin? The 21st of June. 4. When does school start? 5th of July. 5. When are you going to move into the new house? Next Monday, 8th of February. 6. When does the art museum open? I think it is on the 4th of September. 7. When are you leaving? 30th of April. 8. Here is an interesting date in Britain. Valentine's Day is on 14th of February. 9. Do you know when Halloween is? 
It's on the 31st of October. 10. When is Boxing Day? The 26th of December. 11. In Britain, autumn begins on the 23rd of September. 12. Hi, Linda. Do you know in Britain when the shortest day of the year is? Yes, it's on the 21st of December. No, nope. it's on the 22nd of December. Exercise 5. Find the difference. In this part, you will hear some short descriptions of festivals. You will be asked to compare the information that you hear with similar information that you read and to underline the changes that have been made. Text 1. As you listen, read the text below and underline the three changes in the text. Valentine's Day on the 14th of February, St. Valentine's Day, a lot of people send a card to the one they love or someone whom they have fallen in love with. People usually do not sign these cards, and a lot of time is spent trying to guess who has sent them. Text 2. As you listen, read the text below and underline the four changes in the text. Easter Eggs At Easter time, the British celebrate the idea of new birth by giving each other chocolate Easter eggs, which are eaten on Easter Sunday. On Good Friday, bakers sell hot cross buns, which are toasted and eaten with butter. Easter Monday is a holiday and many people travel to the seaside for the day or go and watch one of the sporting events, such as football or horse racing. Text 3. As you listen, please read the text below and underline the five changes in the text. New Year's Eve New Year's Eve is on the night of the 31st of December. Most people stay up until at least after midnight in order to see in the new year. It's also the night of the year when most pubs and restaurants forget about their usual closing times and stay open until after midnight. In London, thousands of people go to Trafalgar Square to hear Big Ben chime midnight and traditionally take a shower in the fountains in Trafalgar Square. The Christmas tree is an annual gift from Norway. Text 4. As you listen, read the text below and underline the six changes in the text. Pancake Day. Ash Wednesday is the day in February when the Christian period of Lent begins. This refers to the time when Christ went into the desert and fasted for 40 days. Although not many people give up eating during this period, on Pancake Tuesday, the day before Ash Wednesday, they eat lots of pancakes. These are made from flour, milk, and eggs, and fried in a hot pan. Some towns also hold pancake races on that day. People run through the streets holding a frying pan and throwing the pancakes in the air. Of course, if they drop the pancake, they lose the race. Text 5 As you listen, read the text below and underline seven changes in the text. Christmas 25th of December is the most important festival of the year. It combines the Christian celebration of the birth of Christ with the traditional festivities of winter. On the Sunday before Christmas, many churches hold a carol service where special hymns are sung. Sometimes you can hear carol singers 
singing on the streets as they collect money for charity. Most families decorate their houses with coloured Christmas decorations and they usually have a Christmas tree in the corner of the front room, glittering with coloured lights and decorations. People put their gifts at the bottom of the Christmas tree. Text 6 As you listen, read the text below and underline eight changes in the text. Halloween on the 31st of October is Halloween. Halloween means Holy Evening. It's a more important festival in the United States than in Britain. Although it's celebrated by many people in the UK, it's particularly connected with ghosts. At parties, people dress up in strange costumes and pretend they are witches. They cut horrible faces in pumpkins and other vegetables and put a candle inside, which shines through the eyes. People play difficult games, such as trying to eat an apple from a bucket of water without using their hands. In recent years, children dressed in white sheets knock on doors at Halloween and ask if you would like a trick or treat. If you give them something nice, a treat, they go away. If you don't, they play a trick on you, such as making a lot of noise or spilling flour on your front doorstep. 